event number four looks a lot like the raising of the Iwo Jima flag, that famous American picture, but this is lifting a thousand pound hammer. Now, Bill Kazmar, just how is that possible? Well, back in Iwo Jima, you know, there are five guys and they're fighting a war. These guys are going to be fighting a war against the hammer. They're going to start with a weight of about 700 pounds. And they're going to push it up till it catches in the ratchet. And then they'll release and get under again with 800 pounds, then 900 pounds. When it gets to its arc, the first time here, about 1,000 on the shoulder. And then they're going to add weight to the hammer and go again and find out who is the strongest in this event. We had one round where the guys had a warm-up go. Isvan Arvi, the hit little Hungarian, at only five foot six, really struggled in this event, couldn't get through the warm-up round. So on to the final, and 50 pounds is added to the end. Now that's multiplied because it's right at the end of this ratchet system. And Stevie Kirit, the American from Pennsylvania, twice USA's strongest man, driving it up. The guys have two minutes in which to do this, and the clock getting close to 30 seconds now. What can he manage? 27 and a half seconds is what Kirit was given as a time. And will that be good enough? It's always tough going first. Well, Anders Johansson, all he could do was 30.15 seconds, making a catalogue of errors in this, trying to jump at it just too much. You've just got to go for one click at a time rather than jumping at two. 20 seconds for Schoenfeld, and the man with unbelievable bare strength rushed into the lead. Vasil Firischuk, this guy's just heating up 16.96 seconds and the word went round that this is a time that perhaps no one will beat. Raymond Bergmanis, well, he had something to say about that. 16.27 seconds and that was good enough by about seven tenths of a second to jump even further into the lead. Well, Mark Philippi was up against it. Two such incredibly explosive fast athletes before him. The American who's doing best at the moment. What can he manage? Driving in the last section in incredibly fast. Oh, it's a mistake. He couldn't quite finish it off. He's lost about four or five seconds there, Philippi. Surely that would have been the lead time otherwise. And that looks bad from here. Looks a bit like a calf injury. Manish Pozhinovsky's a fast athlete, but 17.74 seconds was all he could manage. If we're honest there, Zadrunas was probably the worst in the first round. Maybe this is an event for you. You think you can hunt him down, win this event? I hope so. I just have to do my best and see what happens. This is a matter also of hitting it right, so you don't can't afford to make mistakes and cost you a lot of time. You, were, you looked like you were jumping at it in the first one, but it wasn't quite clicking enough. Are you going to do that this time? No, I, now I'm going to do one and one. I tried to do two and two, and that was too much, I think. Sven Carlsen sitting in second overall on points at the moment, just behind Zavikas. Well, this is really fast stuff. Remember the time of Bergmanis, 16.27 seconds. That's what he needs to beat. He's gone for two, three, four clicks at the end in a row. What's the 13.63 seconds? The Norwegian is on fire. Do this crowd appreciate it? What an athlete. He's not just strong, just unbelievably explosive and fit as well. And he's so desperate to win this Arnold Classic title. And well, this brings out Sadruna Savikas now. Savikas had a comfortable points lead coming into this competition. All he needs to do is finish in the top five here, and he'll carry on a comfortable lead into the final event, the Farmer's Walk. Oh, that's a disastrous mistake. He's tried to do two clicks and hasn't made it. He's got to try and be close to 20 seconds, 20.19, but that, I think, is only good enough for seven. It's going to be tight on points. Your first bad event, uh, what, what was wrong? Uh, it was for speed, not for power. And uh, I, I did mistake. I, I have to do deeper squat. Hey Sven, the scores are getting incredibly close now. One event to go. Farmers walk, what'll happen there? The best man will win. But it's time that I have some luck for a change. And I have been a little bit unfortunate in this competition with a small injury. 
and being second two years in a row, I deserve to win. It's God's will that I win this year. Tor and Odin are with me. They are here, I can feel their presence. It's my turn. I want to taste it. That was wild power to get that 13 second time, three seconds faster than anybody else. And look at Puzovicus down in seventh. The points total has really changed. Carlson now just half a point down on Zadruna Savickas, the leader. One event to go. Is it a car? Is it a Jeep? Is it a tank? No, it's the fabulous Humvee, the prize for the grand final winner here at the Arnold Strongest Man.